guys, today I'm going to do a tack video and it's called I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tack. Um, not quite sure who actually made it up, but I saw Flirty Force make it some time ago. Um, and I thought I want to do it as well. Um, I love doing tags, you know that by now I say that almost in every tag video because I seriously think it's so much fun. And I know that a lot of you, you would like to know which drugstore products I really like because most of the time I actually show you like a lot of my high-end makeup because I normally do prefer high-end makeup for various reasons. Um, but you often ask me which um, drugstore foundation should I use or drugstore mascaras or palettes, whatever. Um, so I thought this was going to be a really nice tag for you guys to see, so let's get into it. And yes, I'm in comfy clothes in my juicy couture and I don't care, it's okay to be comfy. First question is, what is your favourite drugstore makeup brand? And that is no hard question for me at all. It is L'Oreal by no means. I love a lot of drugstore uh, brands, but L'Oreal is just the thing because they've made like some of my favorite powders, favorite foundations, and really good like eyeshadows as well. It's just such a good all-around brand. They do so many great products and they are, in my mind, almost as good as like high-end um, makeup products. Um, I have one of my absolute top uh, favorite foundations from that one, which is my L'Oreal True Matte Foundation, which is one of my absolute favorite ones, even when we're also talking like about high-end makeup. So I think L'Oreal is just on a roll. They always do so many great products. And the next question is, what is your favorite face, cheek and lips products from the drugstore market? And let's start out with all of the face things. Um, I have two. Uh, funnily enough from L'Oreal and it is my um, True Match foundation obviously um, which is super blendable, matches all skin types and skin tones because there's so many uh, shades in this range of uh, foundation and it's just the perfect foundation in my mind. It gives a medium coverage but you can definitely build it up but I would say that if I go for more like a full face foundation look and I want my looks to be high coverage, then I go for my infallible 24 hour stay fresh foundation also from L'Oreal. This is also an incredible foundation because it gives a full coverage, like seriously, and it stays on for such a long time. It doesn't like smudge around on your face or like dissolve during the day, it just really stays in place. And I like it for that reason. It just gives you a really flawless, perfected look in my mind. And whenever I go for a party or a special event, I would definitely go for this one. Next is my favorite cheap product. And I think I have to go with a blush. Um, not quite sure. But I've chosen my Milani Baked Blush. And I actually like all of my Milani Baked Blushes. I've got all of the colors, actually. Um, but I just chose this one. This is the one called 06 Bellissimo Bronze. I chose this one because it's kind of like a bronzy blush that you can also use as a bronzer and a blush. So it looks like this and it's got kind of like golden shimmers in it. It's really pretty and very pigmented as well. And I would say the great thing about Milani's fake blushes is that they're so highly pigmented that you can actually also use them as eyeshadows. So, so, so great. I just really like them. And the last things are lip products and these two are from the... Rimmel Lasting Finish Color Rush. Um, this is a long-lasting intense color bomb. I've got two shades um, and these are from the Rita Ora collection. Um, the reason why I love these is because they are so pigmented but still very creamy and lovely to wear on the lips and they really are long wearing. Um, I just want to switch these colors really quickly for you guys. But they are so cool. Um, this one here is the pink one, which is called Make Me Blush, a really pretty pink Barbie doll lip color. The other one is called Drive Me Nude, and this is a gorgeous nude in my mind. It's kind of like a beige nude, but I do love it so, so much because it is a good everyday lip color in my mind. I love these ones because of the finish. It is so creamy and lovely to wear on the lips. It doesn't like... They don't dry out your lips if you get what I mean, they are very comfortable to wear during the day and as I said they are very long lasting as well so you don't have to reapply them all the time and they still give a really glossy finish so these are just great value for the price. 
The third question is my least favourite product. And this was no hot pick for me either because this is just such a fail. Um, this is the Nude Magic BB Blush from L'Oreal. And I know that I said my favourite brand was L'Oreal, but this is just a huge fail for me. Uh, maybe it's because I don't know how to really work with it, but I don't like it. This is supposed to be a universal rosy blush. Um, and it's supposed to have color osmose technology, so it's just supposed to like blend in really easily. But I just find whenever I use it, first of all, I don't like the texture of it because it's very silicone-ish, very like artificial. I don't know if you can say that, but I just don't like the texture on my cheeks. And also, I feel like that it kind of like smudges out on the cheeks and just it just doesn't really give that nice rosy blushy look that I want. So. To me, it's just a huge fail, and I don't really like it on my cheeks, and I just don't like this product. The fourth question is, what is the best makeup bargain? And that was no hot pick for me either, um, because it is definitely my Bourjois um, Bronzing Powder Plus Highlighter. This is so pretty, and you get both a bronzer and a really nice highlighter, and to me, this is kind of like a dupe for the... Um, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze Glow Palette. Um, this is really good, and these colors are actually really pigmented. The the um, the highlighter is not that pigmented, but it leaves a really nice shine. And I'm both wearing like the highlighter and the bronzer today, and I think it looks amazing. And it's really easy to work with as well. There's just no fuss about this product. And I think it's a real bargain because you get two products for one price. And it's not really that pricey either. So I just love it. And also the smell. It smells like freaking chocolate. It, it is so addictive. Seriously, I could eat this. And also just the packaging. I think it's kind of cute. Um, it looks like a little book that you open and then it's magnetic. Um, so I like it. Next question is, what is your favorite underdog product that doesn't really get mentioned that much on YouTube, on beauty magazines? And I had a hard time figuring out what to show actually because there are a lot of like mascaras that I think are worth like mentioning that doesn't get mentioned that much. But I've mentioned them so much here on my channel so they have been like hyped hair. Uh, but I would have mentioned my Max Factor Clump to find mascara because I don't really hear that many people talk about that one. Um, but I want to talk about highlights and concealers because they are actually really good. The, these three that I have here are all from L'Oreal. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm addicted to L'Oreal. Let's just say it like it is. I never hear people talk about them, but they are so good. So I don't really get why people don't mention them or use them. I use them so, so much. Also just here on my channel because I think they're such great value for the price and they are actually quite good um, products. Um, I've got the Lumi Magic, um, what's it called? Lumi Magic Stylo Touch de Lumiere. So it's a highlighting concealer for the under eye area. All of these are actually for the under eye area just to highlight and they are all so, so lovely. Um, this one here is more like for a very luminous finish. Whereas this is more for like a perfect match for your skin, so it kind of really blends in so nicely with your skin and just leaves a really illuminated glow. And the last one here is the Dream Louis Touch, which is also the an highlighting concealer. And to me, these two are actually quite similar. So um, they are so great, and um, I just really like them. I I think it's a shame that they don't get mentioned. And one thing in particular that I want to mention is that these stay in place. I find with a lot of like under eye highlighting concealers, they have a tendency to smudge or like crease a bit in your fine lines. But I don't, I haven't tried that with these. I actually think they are really good for just staying in place all during the day. So I love them and I definitely recommend them. The next question is a drugstore product that is overpriced. And... I just knew exactly what to show you because I want to show you um, Maybelline's mascaras. They are, in my mind, really good. I like them, but I think they are way too pricey. Normally, the thing about drugstore products is that they're supposed to be like cheaper than high-end makeup, but these are like 139 Danish kroner, something like that. And I actually think that's quite expensive considering that they are supposed to be like 
drugstore products and on the drugstore market. So in my mind, they are good mascaras, don't get me wrong, I do like them. And I also think that they're worth the money, but considering that they are supposed to be like drugstore products and in the drugstore range when it comes to money and the price, then I think it's way too pricey. And the next question is, show off your best drugstore dupes, and these are the babies. So my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette, which is so incredibly beautiful, I love it so much. You've got a bronzer and a highlighter, and these are just incredible, incredible in pigmentation, in lasting power, just everything about it. The packaging is so luxurious, and it's just to die for. But when it comes to like a drugstore dupe, then as I said before, this one is so good. The Bourjois Bronze and Highlighter palette is actually very similar both in colour and texture and just in the finished result because they're both kind of like illuminating and gives that glow to your skin. So if you just see them like this, um, they're not quite the same colours, especially the highlighters are quite um, different because this one is more like pinky, whereas this is more like, I don't know, golden. But I do think that the two um, bronzes, they are very similar. I do love both of them and they are kind of like up the same alley in my mind. I just totally fleshed you there, <laughs> sorry. And the last question is a drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. And definitely the Garnier Roll-On is not worth the hype. I've actually heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this one some time ago. Um, it's supposed to be like a rollerball that is supposed to like soothe and help the under eye area to be a bit more bright and alive and just take care of dark circles and so on. And I tried it now. I don't see any difference. It's supposed to be like really cooling and good and so on, but I just find it irritating. I don't find any like benefits from it at all, I don't really see that it works on me at all, so I'm just very disappointed in this one. I don't really know what to do with it because it's like, there's no result from it. It's just a gimmick. And that was the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag. And I love doing it, and I tag all of you guys to do it as well, if you haven't already, and if you like to, obviously. So do yourself a favor and go out and check out the drugstore market, because there are a lot of great products out there just waiting for you. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my Instagram if you feel like it. I hope you do. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have the most amazing day. Bye! Bobbi Brown, they are so well known for all of their shimmer break palettes and I've got five here. I am in love with them.